present George Edwards in Frankenstein. Aboard the good ship Voyager, Baron Frankenstein is confined to his cabin, recovering from the effects of hardship and exposure. During his convalescence, he tells the story of his tragic experiences to Captain Walton, the master of the vessel. Baron Frankenstein. For a wonder, it's not snowing. Perhaps the thaw is going to set in soon. Then you will have to take your vessel back to England, and you will leave me here. We shall certainly not leave you here. Oh, but you must. I cannot return to civilization until I am sure that the monster of my creation is dead. Let me plead with you, Baron Frankenstein. You were in the last stages of exhaustion when you came aboard this vessel. We have nursed you back to health and strength. Come back to England with us. Forget about the monster. I feel sure that he has perished out there in the blizzard. Oh, if only I could feel sure. Tell me some more of your story. What happened after you had destroyed the companion you were making for the monster? Did I not tell you that the monster returned and threatened me? He swore that he would see me again on the day that I returned to my wife? Yes, I remember that. And did you leave the island then? I arranged with my friend Ernst Claval that we should leave the island a few days later. And when the supply vessel called, some men were sent ashore to carry our effects to the ship. This vessel was under the command of a door, Scottish captain called MacDougall. He came ashore and spoke with Ernst Claval and myself. We can put you ashore at Southampton. That is as far as we're going this trip. Oh, that will do nicely. Are you uh, agreeable to Dr. Schreval? Oh, we must be agreeable. No other boat will come here for a month. Well, we must go on this one. Uh, tell me, Captain McDougall, is your vessel uh, watched closely? Uh, what do you mean by that, Baron Frankenstein? Has anyone else tried to get aboard the vessel? But certainly not. The vessel is moored about a hundred yards from the shore, and only one boat came ashore. No one would get into that boat but you two passengers. Oh, oh I am glad to hear that. I did not know that there was anyone else on the island. There is one other person on the island, but he must not leave here. Hey, who is he? Uh, that matters not. But he is an enemy of mine. Uh, is everything ready, Ernst? Oh, my briefcase has been left in the cottage. I will only detain you for a moment, Captain. I will go and get it myself. Very well, Herr Clival. We will wait for you. Uh, do not be too long, Ernst. I, I want to get off this island as soon as possible. Oh, I will only be a few minutes. Now, Captain McDougall, I would like you to give your crew instructions to see that no one, bar her, Clival, and myself, attempts to board this vessel. It is imperative that the monster should remain here. Perhaps he will die of starvation. What monster is this of which you speak, Baron Frankenstein? A huge, deformed creature. A murderer. A murderer? On this island? Do not worry your head, Captain. As long as that creature is not allowed to board your vessel, as long as we keep a watchful eye, there is nothing to fear. I am hopeful that I will never see or hear of him again. <coughs> what? <coughs> What does it mean? Call some of your men. Come quickly. Follow me. Tell me more, Baron Frankenstein. Had Ernst Reval really been attacked? Together with Captain McDougal, we hurried to the cottage. I flung open the door and dashed in. And then a dreadful sight met my eyes. On the floor in the far corner lay the huddled body of Ernst Claval. I dashed over to him and said, This is the monster's work. Oh, Ernst, my friend, I, I should have known. I should have known. Let me see the man. Look at him, Captain McDougall. He is dead. And look on those cruel bruises, those marks on his throat. This is the monster's work. He has carried out his promise. Those that I love are to be slain. 
This is my punishment. But who is this frightful creature? Uh, let me order my men to touch for him. The island is small. We must find him. Uh, we must find him. Arm your men with firearms. Tell them to shoot on sight. But what does the creature look like? A cruel, evil monster. Much bigger than an ordinary man. With long, yellow fangs that show between his lips. A monster of hideous cruelty. Oh, he must be found and slain. But who is he? What is his name? He has no name. I created him. You created him? You created this monster, Baron Frankenstein? It is the truth. Go, man. Tell your men to search for this monster. Tell them to slay him. Leave me here with my friend, Ernst. Will you be safe here? I will be safe, although I pray for death. Go, Captain. I beg that you strive to find the monster and slay him. I will gather my men at once. We'll search the island thoroughly. You had better return to the vessel as soon as possible, Baron Frankenstein. I will see you there. Oh, Ernst, my friend. The truest friend that man ever had. Had I but heeded your advice, you would have been alive today. But I sin. I usurp the rights of God. And for that sin, I am paying dearly. Now I have lost my friend. I know that my wife is in danger. Oh, mighty Father in heaven, I know that I have sinned. I beg for thy forgiveness. I ask that I may live to avenge those who have died because of my crime. Hear thou my prayer, my father. Well, Baron Frankenstein, was the monster found on the island? Captain MacDougall and his men searched the island thoroughly, but there was no trace of the monster. He had not even left a footprint. Where he was hiding, I do not know, because later on I joined in the search, and I could not find him. At last, heartbroken and weary, I left the island, taking with me the body of my beloved friend, Ernst Laval. The vessel set sail, and in due time I landed at Southampton. Then I made arrangements to go home, and at last I arrived in Geneva once again. On arriving there, I found my wife eagerly awaiting me. She greeted me happily. Victor! Oh, my heart is almost bursting with joy to see you again after all these months. Oh, my God! Darling. Oh, Elizabeth, I am so happy to feel my arms about you once again. Let me look at you. Sir. Have you fully recovered from your illness? Have you forgotten the nightmares and the horrors of the past? I am well, Elizabeth. That is not the truth, Victor. You look drawn and very pale. I have had a long and tiring voyage, but I, I will be better soon. But what ails you? I'm very Ernst. Did he not come with you? Ernst, uh... It's not uh, returning. Not returning? I left him in England. Uh, uh, he sent you with his love. That is strange. I thought he would come back with you. Oh, do not question me now, Elizabeth. I am tired. But tell me of yourself. Have you been happy here? Oh, how could I be happy while you were away from me? But I looked forward to the day when you would return. Have you seen anything of the monster? Not a sign. I am living in hopes that he has perished, that we will never hear from him again. Have there been any reports that he has been around here in the last few days? Why should you think that? Have you seen anything of him during your travels? I saw him once. Did he follow you? Oh, do not be worried, Elizabeth. I had so hoped that the horrible creature was dead. Why are you looking so worried, Victor? What has happened? Well, you must be guided by me, Elizabeth. I beg that you will not leave the house unaccompanied. Uh, stay by my side always. And whatever you do, wherever you go, if you do leave my side, carry this pistol with you. A, a pistol? But, Victor, what is it that you fear? What is it that I fear... Don't you know? I fear that the monster may return. I know that he is not dead. You know that he is not dead? I told you that I... I seen him. But why should you think that he will attack me? Oh, please do not question me now, Elizabeth. 
But do as I say. Promise that you will not be alone for any length of time. And if you hear anything which frightens you, promise on your word of honor that you will call for help at once. But don't you think that that will be necessary? Oh, it is necessary. And please always carry that pistol with you. Do not hesitate to use it if necessary. This is most alarming. I wish you would be frank with me, Victor. Tell me why you think the monster will attack me. He is a blood-crazed and human creature. We must be on our guard. We must try to kill him before he does any further damage. Any further damage? Has he committed another murder since you left here? Oh, can we not talk of something else, Elizabeth? I am so worried, so terribly worried. The mere mention of the monster upsets me. And I thought that this holiday would help you to recover, and you would come back well and strong. But you seem worse than ever. I have never seen you show such fear. Well, I cannot help it. Oh, but be of good heart, Elizabeth. While I am here, I shall protect you. And if the monster comes... Where he shall die. Why should you think the monster will come? Well, he threatened to come on the day that you and I were reunited. But I hope that he is on that lonely island in the Orkneys. I do not think he can be here. Victor, did you hear that? Yes, I heard it. The monster's laugh. He has returned. Oh, Elizabeth, I am afraid. Proceed, Baron Frankenstein. Did you see anything of the monster that day? Oh, I'm afraid I, I cannot tell you any more now, Captain. The telling of this story has tired me. Please go and leave me in peace. Very well. I will note what you have told me in the journal... And I will return to you when you feel more rest. 